Hi, we're in this question, we're given that the diagram shows the TV graphs for two athletes, A and B, who run in the same direction in the same straight line while they exchange the baton in a relay race. A runs with constant velocity of 10 meters per second until he decelerates at 5 meters per second per second and subsequently comes to rest. B has constant acceleration from rest until reaching his constant speed of 10 meters per second. And the baton is exchanged two seconds after B starts running, when both athletes have a speed of 8 meters per second, and B is one meter ahead of A. And we've got two parts to this question. The first part is to find the value of T at which A starts to decelerate. And in part two, calculate the distance between A and B at the instant when B starts to run. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, with the first part where we've got to find the value of t at which a starts to decelerate. This is this stretch here where a is decelerating and the point where a starts to decelerate is here. So we've got to find that value of t. Just mark it in here. We'll come down here, okay, and it's this value of t here. Now, what I know is that acceleration is given by the gradient on a TV graph, okay, or a velocity time graph. And that acceleration, we're told, is, well, it says it deaccelerates at 5 meters per second per second. So the acceleration will be minus 5 meters per second per second. Now, these points here, let's just mark them on with coordinates. This point here would have coordinate t10, okay? So just pop that in as t10. And this point here would have coordinates 2, 8. And so we can get that gradient very easily as being the difference in the velocities divided by the difference in the times. So if we look at that, we've got the difference in the velocities, that's 8 minus 10, divided by the difference in the time, which is going to be 2 minus t. And this gives us acceleration, which is going to be minus 5. So it's just a question of solving this equation. So if I multiply both sides by 2 minus t, we've got 8 minus 10, which is going to be minus 2, is going to equal minus 5 multiplied by all of 2 minus t. And then if we expand the bracket, we have minus 2 equals minus 10 plus 5t. And if I add 10 to both sides, that's going to be minus 2 plus 10 is going to be 8. So 5t is going to equal 8. And if I divide both sides now by 5, I see that t equals 1.6. 1 1.6 seconds then. Okay, now for the next part, part 2, we're asked to calculate the distance between a and b at the instant when b starts to run. Now, to do this, what I'm going to need to do is work out, first of all, the distance run by a and B. The distance run by B after two seconds, that's when the baton is exchanged, is given by the area under the graph, which will be this area that I'm shading here now. The area of the triangle. So getting that area then is just simply going to be the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. So let's start with the distance b then. I'll just put that as b's distance, OK, for short. And that's going to be the base of the triangle, which is 2, times the height, which is 8. And then we're going to halve that or divide it by 2. 
and what we get here then is just eight. So b travels eight meters, okay, from when t equals zero to the time he picks the baton. Now for a, let's find out the distance that a travels. Well, that's going to be given by the area under the graph going from, let's just mark it in blue, through here, okay? Just go down, all the way down here. Okay, a bit of a mess, but I hope you can see that. So to get that area, what I'm going to do is do the area of this rectangle plus the area of the trapezium on the top. And if we just introduce that as A's distance, then this is going to be the area of the rectangle, which is 2 by 8, or 8 by 2, we'll just put it as 8 by 2, and then plus the area of the trapezium. And the area of the trapezium, remember, is to do the sum of the parallel sides, times the distance apart, and then halve that result. So the parallel sides, well, this length is going to be length from 0 to t, t we saw was 1.6, so that's 1.6 plus the length of this parallel side which goes from 0 to 2, so that's plus 2 and this is all multiplied by the distance between the parallel sides which is 2 units, the difference between 10 and 8 and we divide all of this by 2. So if you work this out we've got 16 here and for this one, with these two twos cancel, we've got 3.6. So you've got 16 plus 3.6, which is going to equal 19.6. 19.6 meters then move by A from the time t equals naught to 2 seconds. So we've got to get that distance now that A and B were apart at the start of the run. And I think this is best illustrated by a diagram. So if we just say this is when t equals zero, this is a, and a would have traveled a distance of 19.6 meters. Okay, and this is say where the baton is picked up. And at this point, B is one meter ahead of where the baton was picked up. So for B, this would be here one meter. Okay, that's from there to there. But B ran eight meters. So that must mean that the distance back from here has to be seven meters. Okay. So this was where B started here. So the distance that we're interested in, the distance between A and B at the start, must be 19.6 subtract 7. So I'll just put here that the distance okay, between A and B would be equal to 19.6 minus 7 and that is 12.6 12.6 meters okay so i hope you're able to uh, follow my working and if you got it right well done